So, uh, in this uh, topic, we will discuss uh, uh, the first state for the foreign object placed uh, into a nose. You know. Now, curious young children may insert small objects uh, uh, into their nose uh, in a normal time to explore their own uh, bodies. You know. And uh, the potential objects uh, placed in the nose uh, may include like food or uh, seeds or uh, android beans, uh, small toys uh, and uh, crane pieces, you know, and uh, mm, uh, paper boards and uh, cotton and uh, beads, you know. So these are the most, mm, most common things that uh, uh, are found as a foreign body in the nose, you know. So a foreign body in a child's nose can be there for uh, while you know, without uh, a parent being aware of the problem, you know, and the object uh, may only be discovered when visiting a healthcare provider, you know, uh, to find the cause of irritation, bleeding, infection, or uh, uh, difficulty in breathing, you know. And the symptoms include uh, like uh, uh, difficulty in breathing through the affected nostril or feeling of something in the nose or uh, foul uh, smelling or the bloody nasal discharge or uh, irritability uh, particularly in the infants you know and uh, irritation or pain in the nose so these are the common symptoms and now the next thing is uh, how to manage that and uh, uh, how to provide the first aid you know uh, there are a few things that you should do you know and uh, you should not do in fact you know so first thing what you should not do is that uh, do not uh, search the nose with uh, cotton swab or other tools and this may push the object further into the nose you know and do not use tweezers or other tools to remove an object that uh, is stuck deep inside the nose you know and do not try to remove any object that is uh, that you cannot see uh, or uh, one that is not easy to grab, uh, grasp, you know, and, uh, and this can push the object further uh, in or uh, can cause the damage, you know, to the nose. Uh, uh, have the person breathe through the mouth and the uh, person should not breathe uh, uh, in sharply and uh, gently press and close the nostril uh, that uh, does not have the object in it. So this way, uh, while breathing from the other nostril, it can push the uh, object or the obstacle out, you know. So if this method fails, uh, you need to get uh, the medical help, you know. Uh, you need to get medical help uh, right away if the person cannot breathe well and uh, bleeding occurs through the nose, you know, and uh, an object is stuck in both nostrils, you know. And you cannot easily remove it, the foreign body, uh, from the person's nose. And uh, you think that infection has developed <coughs> in the nostrils, you know. Uh, now the next thing is how to prevent these uh, 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 kind of uh, uh, foreign bodies in the nose, you know. And but you can take few measures, uh, including like uh, uh, cut the food into appropriate sizes for the small children and uh, discourage talking, laughing or playing while uh, eating food, you know, and do not give food such as uh, hot dogs or whole grapes or uh, nuts, you know, and uh, popcorn or uh, hard candy to children under the age of three, you know, and uh, keep small objects out of the reach of the young children and teach children to avoid uh, placing uh, uh, foreign objects uh, into their nose and other body openings, you know. Uh, now there are alternatives, uh, alternative names used for this condition like uh, something uh, stuck in the nose or objects in the nose. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com for more information. And uh, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you. Goodbye.